This is Akash Vani. In Spotlight, now we bring you a special program on the extension of Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadhi Pariyojana. For a country to be healthy, it is imperative to have a strengthened health care system and the availability of quality medicines at affordable prices. The incumbent government, under the guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister, is committed to provide great quality medicines for the common public in every nook and corner of the nation to ensure a healthy society and a healthy country and remove the obstacles of expensive medicines or the non-availability of doctors or medical infrastructure. Discussing on the country-wide expansion of the PM Jan Aushadhi Kendras, our correspondent Diksha Saxena spoke with Mr. Ravi Dadhich, CEO, Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Board of India. Sir, what is the primary purpose of Jan Aushadhi Kendra in India? Jan Aushadhi Kendras have been opened under a scheme called Pradhan Mantri Bharatiya Jan Aushadhi Pariyojana. And under this scheme, there are 14,000 retail outlets which sell medicines for common use of people and these are generally allopathic medicines. People can visit these Jan Aushadhi Kendras as a regular customer along with their doctor's prescription and they can buy these medicines with assured quality but at a affordable price of or at a discounted price of 50 to 80 percent in comparison to the branded counterpart. And that way it leads to a lot of saving for the common man. Mr. Dadish, coming back to today's event, I would like to understand from you, how were these 18 places selected? All these 18 places where the Jan Aushadhi Kendras were inaugurated today, what were the parameters for selection of all these 18 places? Prime Minister has inaugurated 18 Jan Aushadhi Kendras at 18 different railway stations in today's program from Bihar. So these are spread throughout the country in states like Gujarat, Tripura, Telangana, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Karnataka. This is a continuing process. Means earlier we had opened 50 Janoshti Kendras on 50 different railway stations in India. And in the second phase, we had planned for 61 Janoshti Kendras to be opened in, on different railway stations. Out of this second category of 61, 18 have been opened today, which have been inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister today. And not only the these 110 plus Janoshti Kendras in the circulation area of the railway stations, we have a huge chain of 14,000 Janoshti Kendras in the country, which are located in every town, every city now, covering all 780 plus districts of the country. So it's a continuous process. At present, we have 14,000. We plan to increase to 25,000 in next two years. I would also like to understand from you, is there any reason why these Jan Aushadhi Kendras today were opened on railway stations? What is the reason behind this? So we try to find out those places where people have higher footfalls, be it the market area or residential areas or areas near any hospital, government hospitals or private hospitals. We give those areas priority where higher footfall is there. Railway stations are also the places where large number of people travel every day. So it was discussed with Ministry of Railways for opening these Janoshti Kendras, not on the platform area, but in the outer circulation area of the railway stations, so that not only the passengers who are visiting railway stations for travel, they can take the benefit of these affordable and good quality medicines. But also those citizens who are living in the vicinity of railway stations or those towns, they also know that at this location, these Janoshti Kendras are existing. So they can also avail these benefits. How do you ensure the quality of medicines when they are coming at a lower price as compared to other pharmaceutical shops? Yeah, certainly. So we put highest emphasis or concern for the quality of these medicines. So there are various steps involved for quality assurance. First of all, we only procure these medicines after due diligence from WHO GMP certified companies, which is WHO Good Manufacturing Practices. So those companies which have this WHO GMP standard certification, we only procure medicines from them. After procuring these medicines in our warehouses, we go for the second level testing of each batch of these medicines in NABL accredited laboratories. And only after due certification of the quality of these medicines, we go ahead and supply these medicines to our Janoshti Kendras or the retail shops. So in this manner, means at the manufacturing stage and again at the receiving stage, when we get these medicines, we have this strict 
quality control mechanism and we ensure that customers who are buying these medicines or patients who are using these medicines they get the best quality even though these are priced at a lower price of 50 to 80 percent in comparison to branded counterparts but their therapeutic value is as good as any other branded medicine i would also want to ask you for the benefit of our listeners are there medicines available for all kinds of ailments at jan oshadhi kendras so we have means aids or cancer are very specific diseases the number of patients of these categories are very small but overall we have all kind of therapeutic groups which are mentioned in the system so medicines pertaining to diabetes or we can say cardiovascular or antibiotics or urology related or orthopedic related medicines all kind of medicines there are more than 2000 medicines which are part of our product basket there are more than 300 items which are surgical items or nutraceuticals and smaller devices which are part of our product basket these are available as per demand or means at different to retail stores and these retail stores which are called janoshti kendra can be located by using either the google search or you can use janoshti sugam app which gives the benefit of identifying the location of any kendra or the comparison of the prices between the branded medicines or janoshti medicines so in this manner we facilitate availability of these medicines and we cover most of the therapeutic groups including some medicines for the cancer also This brings me to my next question Mr Dadij what role can Jan Oshadhi Kendras play in reducing the dependency on imported medicines in our country in India So Jan Oshadhi generally deals with the generic medicines only and more than 90% demand of medicines is in that category only most of the medicines which are imported which those are patented ones but overall in in Indian context India itself is a pharmacy capital of the world it supplies or it exports a large quantity of medicines to the entire world so with this strength of indian manufacturing sector in pharmaceuticals jan oshadhi is also utilizing leveraging that strength for its own citizens by procuring these medicines from these best manufacturers and supplying it to the into indian population at a price which is 50 to 80 percent cheaper than the branded versions so directly means very limited number of medicines are imported in india we export much more than what we import our correspondent from agartala kunal shinde spoke about the expansion of pm jan oshadhi kendra and the benefits it is entailing for the common public The opening of the Pradhan Mantri Jan Aushadhi Kendra at the Agartala railway station comes as a boon for the people of Tripura as they can now purchase medicines at the cheapest rates even at the most convenient and most visited place like Agartala railway station. Since the functioning of the railway line from Agartala to Guwahati, Silchar and to other parts of the country, there has been a considerable footfall of passenger movement from this north eastern city. With the opening of the Pradhan Mantri Jan Aushadhi Kendra at Agartala railway station, the Lumding division of North East Frontier Railway now has second such kendra, the first being at Badarpur railway station in neighboring Assam. Kunal Shinde, Akashwani News, Agartala. Our correspondent from Chennai, Joy, reported on the expansion of PM Jan Aushadhi Kendra in the southern region. The medical shops under Prime Minister's scheme were also opened in Tiruchirappalli and Tanjavur railway stations. Southern Railway officials were present during the inauguration of the program. Speaking at the inauguration at Nagarkoil, which is in Tiruvannadapuram Railway Division, BJP MLA Gandhi said that this would benefit the railway passengers to get quality medicines at a nominal price. This program was attended by public and passengers at the railway station. Based on the positive feedback by the general public, the massive outreach of the pilot and the successive generation of non-fair revenue railway board agreed to create these shops which have turned into useful ventures for the passengers who travel joy akashwani reporting from chennai our correspondent from chennai joy told us about the benefits of pradhan mantri jan oshadhi kendra for the common public and the benefits it is ensuring in a longer term now let's listen to our correspondent sushil chand tiwari from uttar pradesh as he talks about the prime minister jan oshadhi kendra Prime Minister Narendra Modi today virtually inaugurated Jan Aushadhi Kendras at 18 locations in the country. It includes three Jan Aushadhi Kendras of Uttar Pradesh, which was located at Bashanagar Railway Station of Northeastern Railway, as well as Bareilly City Station, while one Aushadhi Kendra is located at Lalitpur Station of North Central Railway. In the scope of Ayushman Bharat scheme, 
made during the elections, the Prime Minister remarked that free treatment for senior citizens above 70 years has already begun irrespective of the family income. He said that all beneficiaries would soon possess Ayushman Vandan card. He also touched upon Jan Oshadi Kendras that offer medicines at extremely low cost. Sushil Chandra Tiwari, Akashwani News, Gorakhpur. Let us further listen to the conversation our correspondent Deeksha Saxena had with Ravi Dadhich, CEO, PMBI. Mr. Dadhich, I'm quite inquisitive to know and I just want to ask you, what are the environmental and economic benefits of promoting generic medicines through these kendras? So first of all, this generic uh, word itself, it creates little confusion. means a patient is prescribed some medicine by the doctor and he is concerned for buying that medicine at a reasonable price. So as far as economic aspects of this are concerned, I will just share with you that uh, since these medicines are cheaper, People have been saving a lot of money and those who have a requirement of regular medication, be it in old age or some disease, they have regular savings. When they buy more, they save more. In this manner, people in India in last 10 years have been able to save approximately rupees 30,000 crore when we compare it with the branded uh, medicine value. So this is a saving which has gone directly to the public. And that we believe and our objective is to keep supplying these affordable medicines to Indian citizens, means every state, every district, every block for which we are opening more and more stores, more and more Janoshti Kendras to cover the all parts of the country. Mr. Dadish, you have shared very positive news about Jan Oshadi Kendra and how it is helping the country in providing affordable medicines to all class and all sections of people in the country. What challenges do you face in this particular mission? So the demand has been growing at 35% per year. Means while there were only 80 Janoshti Kendras in 2014, these have increased to 14,000, which is almost 175 times. Similarly, the demand has also increased in terms of value, means we were doing business of around 7 crore or revenue was 7 crore in 2014, which has increased to around 1500 crore last year and this year we have a target of 2000 crore. So this growth of around 35% per annum for Janoshti medicines, that poses a challenge to us to procure such a huge quantity while maintaining the quality. So every nook and corner of the country, now there are Janoshti Kendras, we have to procure and have a very efficient logistic system and computer systems to handle all this data. So procurement and data handling and ensuring supply while maintaining quality are some of the challenges, but we are going ahead having a foolproof system of maintaining quality as well as timely supplies and availability at Janoshti Kendras. So growth is a challenge, but challenges are part of any system. We are determined to overcome it and complete our target of opening 25,000 Janoshti Kendras in next two years. Any message that you would like to give to our listeners today to bust the myth about the Janoshadi Kendras? No, so there is no myth. Now people are accepting <laughs> it with, with open arms. Means everywhere when you visit a Janoshti Kendra, you will find Sometimes there are queues on the in front of the shops. People are now very interested in getting benefits of affordable price of Janoshni medicines. They have tested themselves the quality of these medicines. That's why there are repeat customers coming. And the only message is that whosoever conveys you that these are not good, just don't give them any heed. Use these medicines, visit these shops, ask the shopkeeper or the Janoshni Kendra Sanchalak that what kind of medicines are available, how can I take the benefit. And they will themselves be able to determine how these medicines are good at a very affordable price. Thank you so much, Mr. Dadij, for this enriching discussion. I'm sure a lot of listeners will benefit out of our discussion today. Thank you. The availability of quality medicines at lower prices will make sure that we make a healthy country and the population can rejoice life and do well for the benefit of the country as a whole. The expansion of the scheme of Pradhan Mantri Jan Oshadi Kendras will go a long way in ensuring a healthy country in a sustainable manner. You were listening to a special program on the extension of Pradhan Mantri Bhartiya Jan Oshadi Pariyojana. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of Akashwani. You can listen to it on our mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on our YouTube channel, News on AIR Official. You may share your feedback about this program through email at airnsdtalks at gmail.com or WhatsApp on 9780108108. 
नाइन